Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Uh, today we are going to look at how to add a combo box to data grid view. Okay, so we are going to look at something like this one. You can see here uh, we have a, a data grid view and a combo box. So the user can select, uh, for example, the different years. Okay, so this is what we are going to look at. We are going to look at how you can add these things and a uh, column like this one. So please, uh, enough talking, fire up your IDE. Uh, today I will be using Visual Studio 2013. Okay, so here is mine. Uh, control Shift N, okay, to uh, bring a new uh, Windows C Sharp application. I'll name mine Combo Box. column okay so click ok okay now here uh, very first we have our form here okay so I'll just change uh, the text property like this one I'll just change English Premier League then I'll come to toolbox, uh, drag a data grid view and add it over here. I'll click it and dock it in the parent container which is the form and probably resize it a bit. Okay, so uh, click it. Okay, now inside the here, uh, this is for in the upload form this is where we'll be uh, updating the data grid view but first of all let us just uh, create a method I'll call it update uh, dg view okay so uh, it will be public void update just a simple method okay now from this method uh, the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to add columns okay the ordinary columns so to add the columns remember we had uh, dragged a data grid view and put it in the form so just say data grid view one okay dot column count the first thing we have to set uh, the column count dot column count is equal to I'll give it four okay then uh, data grid view one dot columns okay now this one will return an array of columns so the first item uh, its name property will assign to points Then the second one, data grid view one uh, dot columns. Now this is the its name property. We'll assign it to team maybe. After all, this is an English uh, APL app. So uh, I'll just copy paste this one now and change. So this one will be two, and from the two, uh, no, this one will give position. I'll change this one to position. Then this one will remain to be points. Then uh, this one will be the third one, the fourth one in the array. I'll give it a, a year one. That is the year that it won the trophy. Okay. Now so far, if I run the app, let's see. I expect uh, a, for a data grid view with columns and no rows. Not really. Well, my computer is a bit slow. Okay, let's add rows first. 
so the second thing I'll do is that I'll add row so I'll create an array list now from the array list that is where we'll be storing the rows okay so array list is equal to new array list remember to import right click then resolve okay so uh, say row okay now we'll be adding like rows dot add the first one I will be one okay that is the position then the second one uh, will be not true it will be like the the first team the first team which is Chelsea then the third one road add points let me say something like 83 then the fourth one which is the year one no okay from this fourth one I'll change this one to games instead of year one the games that it, uh, the it played like this one so will be 37 games okay now uh, the second one we add the second row add second row what I'll do is that I'll create a new I'll assign the array list I'll assign row to the new array list okay so row is equal to new array list then I'll copy paste uh, these ones here to save time now the position will be position 2 the second team will be Man City the third the points I'll say something like 79 games played will remain the same okay then copy paste uh, this one and then add the third row third row row is equal to new array list no uh, row dot add three okay the team will be man united the points will be 76 games will remain the same then finally uh, the fourth row Add fourth row. Uh, the position will be position four. The team will be Arsenal. Points will be seventy-seven. Games will remain the way it is. Right? No. These are the rows we've added. But remember, we just created the rows, but we've not added them to the data grid view. Okay. So to add them to the data grid view, the first thing we do come for example after the first row sorry after the first row come and say data grid v1 okay dot rows okay then uh, this one will return an array rows dot add okay now what we should do uh, we should add an array here but remember we have an array list so what we simply do is that we cast at the row to array list okay so just say uh, row dot to array list to array I mean sorry to array okay then uh, we come to the second row we do the same row to array row to array row to array right yeah so uh, so far let me run the app we see oh I'm a fool okay now guys uh, what we need to do uh, we need uh, to call this method remember this was a method uh, we need to call it in the on load that is it should be displayed uh, when the form loads I don't know how I forgot that one no let's just drag it here and then come 
and say update okay then run uh, the app I don't know why I was not seeing that one. So uh, here it is. You can see you can resize the columns. Okay. So you can see so far we have uh, Chelsea, ET3, Man City. But now what we want to do uh, here, we want to add another column. Uh, probably that has the year that each team has been winning. The last year they won the trophy. So it will be a, co a combo box column so that the user uh, can just can simply choose. Okay. So uh, let's just scroll down. I'm having a problem here with my computer. It's getting too slow. Okay. Now I'll say add combo column. Okay. Then come and say uh, data grid. data grid view combo box column okay I'll call it combo is equal to new data grid view combo box column then uh, I'll assign it the header text I'll say combo dot header text okay is equal to year one okay then uh, i'll also assign its name property i just give it combo dot name you can give it any name like mine i'll just leave to be combo okay that is its name property then uh what should do uh now i'll create a new array list okay uh, to contain the contents of each combo so i'll come and say row is equal to remember we had initialized the row array list so just say row is equal to new array list okay then uh, say row uh, dot add sorry row dot add then inside there uh, I'll have 2015 okay i'll just oh no this one should be dot not is equal to i'll just copy paste uh, this one add it over there add it over there add it over here then this one will be 2014 this one will be 2013 this one will be 2012 okay no, so far uh, I've already defined the things that will be contained in each combo. So what we need to do, we simply need to add the items to the combo. Okay, so say just say combo dot items. Okay, dot add range. Remember, we want to add uh, the content of the uh, array list or the array okay to the combo so we use the add range okay actually the add range normally expects the uh, array so we convert the uh, row which was the array list to array just say row dot to array okay then uh, after adding the items now what we need to do remember we've not added the column uh, to the data grid view so just come and say data grid view one okay data grid one dot columns okay this one will return for us a collection containing the columns then say dot add and now what do we want to add we just want to add the combo okay so guys uh let's run uh the app and see So uh, here you can see uh, we have uh, our combo box so the user can just choose okay 
the user just can uh, the, the user can just choose the year that the particular team won for example Chelsea uh, should be 2015 actually I'm a football fan Chelsea 2015 Man City 2014 Man United 2013 Arsenal I think 205 or something so uh, guys hope you've enjoyed the tutorial uh, please if you have uh, subscribe to this channel uh, like this video share this video okay and also you can also check uh, my other tutorials about data grid view so have a nice day see you next time